Hi guys, welcome back to another video. This is going to be a super quick one in which I just show you how I make my basic pastry recipe. This is something that you can use as a base for so many different tarts, pies, anything you fancy really. You can either use it as savoury or sweet. I'll just show you the basic savoury recipe and then you can easily just add in a bit of sugar if you want to, you don't have to, to make a sweet pie recipe. Okay, so super simple, full recipe will be linked below the table. In this bowl, I've got 125 grams of plain flour, half a teaspoon of just fine salt, and 75 grams of cold vegan butter. Everything has to be kept as cold as possible with this, basically. And yeah, so what we're going to do is we're going to rub the butter into the flour mixture until it forms like breadcrumbs. There are no big chunks of butter and there's no sort of clumps of flour in there either. You just want to use your fingertips to do this because they're the coldest part of your hand. Your palm would be too hot to do this. You just want to rub it in until there are no big lumps of butter left. You can also do this in a food processor if you like. It's quicker. It means that nothing gets too warm from your body heat. It's an easy way of doing it, but I like to do it by hand, <laughs> quite frankly. Not everyone's got a food processor. Super quick. No big lumps of butter, no big clumps of flour, just like move everything around so we'll check. Looking good. So then just into this, you want to add about half a tablespoon to a tablespoon of cold water or non-dairy milk. It doesn't look like you're adding very much but it does all come together and you want a nice soft dough. You don't want to overwork it at this point either, just kind of gently press it together and it will clump together to form a dough. So I added about a tablespoon of liquid there to get it all to form a nice soft dough. It will completely depend on what butter you're using and the temperature that you're working at and all that kind of stuff. So you've got to work that one out yourself. <laughs> Giving it a quick flatten to make it easier to roll later and then I'm going to stick this into the fridge for about 10 minutes. My pastry has been chilling out in the fridge for about 10 minutes and now I'm going to roll it out. And this is enough pastry to fit an eight inch tart tin, like this. So yeah, I'm just going to lightly flour this table and roll it out. With rolling it, you want to make sure that you move it quite a lot so that you make sure it doesn't stick to the table. And you may just need to add a little bit more flour occasionally, again, just to stop it sticking. Cool, so that should be big enough and it's quite thin. To make it easier to transfer it into the tin rather than trying to pick it up, you can just lightly roll it up onto your rolling pin. You don't want it to be pressed together or anything lift and drop it down like that. You want to carefully place it in. You may get a couple of cracks, it's not the end of the world, you just want to squish them back together. <laughs> and if you do find that you've got some cracks or you've maybe not put it on straight, like I haven't, there's a bit there, then you should have a bit of overhang somewhere else where you can just transfer it over. So now that is in the tin, I'm just going to put that in the freezer for again about 5-10 minutes. The pastry's been in the freezer for about 5-10 minutes, the oven is now preheated to 200 degrees. I'm just going to lightly prick the base with a fork, you don't want to go all the way through because otherwise any filling will just spill through. It's just to prevent too many big air pockets from forming. And at this point as well it's also a good idea to put baking parchment in the bottom and fill it with some form of beans or rice or baking beans, again just to stop that rise. And then I'm going to trim off the edges now. You can do this after it's baked, which is the better way of doing it, because basically by me doing this now, I'm not accounting for any shrinkage of the pastry, but I really don't like the sound of cutting pastry when it's been cooked. So that's the only reason why I cut it now. But yeah, feel free to do whatever works best for you. I'm now just going to bake this for about 10 minutes until it's dried out a bit on the bottom and starts to cook and go a bit golden brown. 
that is my pastry base all done and out of the oven. It was enough 10 minutes. What I actually ended up doing was lightly oiling the outside of a seven inch cake tin and then placed that in and baked it like that. So then that prevented it from rising, which actually worked really well. So I would recommend. So I hope you give this a go and check back here next week for an example of what you can do with this pastry base. So hopefully see you then. Thanks a lot for watching. See you later. Bye.